Thank you, everyone. Make sure I'm in the... <laughs> oh, Lord. Throwing some shade towards myself. Good evening. Uh, we have quite a large crowd here tonight, which is nice. I, uh, I had a really uh, struggle with myself to come out here tonight, uh, the obvious reason being the cold. But I'm here, and I'm glad I came now that I see it's a nice turnout. Uh, I'm going to do two cover songs for you. I've been, um, my name is Jim Waugh, and I, I live uh, in uh, Belmont, and I've been practicing music now for about three years. I uh, started a cappella the first eight months uh, back in 2011 and uh, gradually have been learning how to play a guitar to accompany myself along the way. And it's been quite an experience to start relatively late in life uh, to learn a new skill, particularly one as complicated as music. But it's been very rewarding. It's been worth all the effort. And I would encourage each and every person in this audience, if they haven't already done so, uh, to find themselves a performing art to put in their life on a daily basis. Uh, it's a great way to discover yourself. Uh, and without knowing yourself, you don't have much of a life, no matter what else is in it. But if you know yourself, you've got the world. And uh, just contemplate the idea of having lived your life as I did, or might have lived your life as I did and laying on your deathbed somewhere and re some, some time and not knowing anything about who you are because you've been spending your whole life living for other people. And I wish that someone had said this to me when I was, you know, on the edge of adulthood uh, because I might have had quite a different experience. And so I'm saying it to you now in case you haven't already thought of it. Uh, these two songs, the first one is quite contemporary. It's a 2011 Decemberist song. And the other one uh, is, an, is an old doo wop tune from 1959. Uh, let me see if I got that. Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> cute little song that appears on uh, one of the Decemberist albums, uh, I believe it's called The King is Dead, and that was released in February 2011. 
And since I'm such an old person and have so many old songs in my repertoire, I proudly proclaim that as my most current uh, cover song, 2011. <laughs> uh, the second song I'm going to do, uh, as I mentioned, dates 1959. And I'm going to need a capo for this. Here we go. Somewhere here. Okay. And this is a song, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of this. This song is, uh, was performed originally by a group called The Cress uh, during the uh, ro early rock and roll days, uh, at a point in time where early rock and roll was switching from what we would describe as a blues bass, like early Elvis Presley, that sort of thing, as blues bass, rock and roll, to a thing called R&B, uh, rhythm and blues. We have that today, a contemporary version. And, um, this is a, definitely an R&B type song of the early rock and roll era. Um, and Johnny Maestro, who was the lead singer for this group, uh, went on to have quite an interesting career for many, many years. He was a great singer. And uh, I'll say, that's enough to say about that. This is the song. <clears throat> Jim, and now we have Eric. 